Hello, welcome to the Northland. Um, we're going to go back to the travel videos for a little bit. Um, in this video, we go to Santorini, Greece, and Kuzadazi, Turkey. Um, in Turkey, I was a little leery about before getting there, but at least the part we were in uh, was very clean. Um, it was pretty nice, uh, you know, pretty wise, beautiful wise. Um, the people were polite, although it was, I think of all the places we went to, it probably had the highest pressure sales. Um, you know, especially they knew we were tourists, so it was, I mean, they want to sell you everything and anything. They probably even sell you their own jacket or shoes even, but um, you just got to learn to say no, not interested, and uh, then they generally will leave you alone. So anyway... Sit back, enjoy the video, and uh, I'll see you at the back end. And we, now, we went to a uh, Turkish bathhouse in Turkey. Um, obviously, I didn't film there um, because, for obvious reasons. Um, so at the back end of this video, I'll kind of describe what a real Turkish bathhouse is like in case uh, any of you either are interested in going to one at some point or you can compare it to, you know, a real one versus one here in America, or or if you have no idea what, what it's like at all. So I'll cover that at the end. So again, sit back, enjoy, and I'll uh, see you at the end here. Kuzadazi, I think that's how it's pronounced. Turkey. We weren't going to get off the ship just because of all the crap that's going on in the world today and uh, being American, being um, a prime target, but I think I said we're going to a Turkish, Turkish, Turkish bathhouse um, and it's had good reviews from other tourists, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, we had a neat experience here. About a five minute rain and the whole country floods. <laughs> Their uh, drainage system is not very good. Apparently they don't get a lot of rain here. But uh, we saw an accident on the way back. Apparently dude lost control going downhill. But um, it's very... It's like running a gauntlet here. They can tell you're a tourist and everybody wants to sell you a million dollars worth of stuff. So, anyway, it's, uh, you just got to learn to say no. No, no, no. But they do have some cool things here. Very interesting architecture. I think it's much nicer than Greece here. It seems to be better taken care of. Much cleaner. I would uh, I would come back here just for the bathhouse deal which I will explain more in detail later but um, for now this is what we got it's pretty nice um, pretty nice country it uh, wasn't what I expected for sure I kind of expected something a little bit more rundown and um, people more in poverty but People seem to be doing pretty well here for the most part. I mean, I'm sure they have their bad part of town. We got cats in the cats in the restaurant. Fish markets are a dime a dozen. All right. Here we are, Santorini, Greece. in the buffet 
What a great view right out of the front of the ship. Now we're anchored in Santorini, Greece. And uh, just from what I've seen this morning so far of around the ship, there's like not a tree on the island. It's uh, quite a nice deal. We got a big place. Food is good. We're gonna try a little yogurt with cereal today. We got salmon and we got smoked tilapia along with a bagel and nothing like coffee. All right. See you on the island. <clears throat> we, uh, we were gonna go to port today. Um, thought it might be fun and kind of different. Uh, we thought about maybe trying to find a beach at some point. And from what we could find, there were no... Oh, we must be moving the ship. You see we're adjusting. Alright, so... The uh, <laughs> camera messed up on me, so I'm going to do this again. So we're actually sitting in a caldera. Uh, it's part of an ancient volcano. Um, this place has been well, obviously flooded since it last erupted. But we were going to go in and check some things out, maybe find a beach, but it uh, looks like traveling around this island isn't exactly something that's easy to do. So we decided we're going to stay on the ship. Um, just to get across this little tiny island takes like 30 minutes, so it's kind of silly, but I don't think there are any trees anywhere on this island. Almost looks like the Grand Canyon in, in spots anyway. But we might be missing something, who knows. Um, I suppose we'll hear about it when we come back. Got some sailboats out there. So we're just going to hang out on the pool deck today, take it easy, relax, maybe hang hang out in the pool, drink some margaritas, have a good time, and uh, tomorrow we're in Crete, so we'll check out Crete maybe a little bit better, but one of the many stops we had in Greece, so that's a pretty, pretty um, horizon, pretty shoreline, very rugged. All right, that's it for now. If I were a diver, God, that'd be fun. That water looks so clear. All right, again, we'll see you. Next, next video clip. So let's talk a Turkish bathhouse. Um, now what I'm gonna relay does not necessarily mean that every experience is the same. Um, but this was our experience. Now we got off the ship and, uh, one of their things was that they pick you up at the pier. And so anyway, we, we got off the ship and this lady was on the, um, sidewalk off, you know, once you go through the gates and I can't remember if she had a sign with her name on it. I think she did. And so we went up, you know, to her, and there was definitely a language barrier. She didn't have a whole lot of English. Um, and we, we crossed the street, and we're sitting there, and she was on the phone, and all of a sudden this black van pulls up with these dark tinted windows, right? First thing that ran through my mind was, oh, an abduction. Here we go, right? I was, I was ready. I thought, yep, this is going to be bad news. And the door opened up and she motioned, you know, and so I knew it was okay at that point. But I'll tell you what, boy, I got my blood pumping. Um, then it was like, a, I don't know, 10, 15 minute maybe drive to the, uh, to the building. And we walked in um, and my wife paid for uh, the package or whatever that she wanted or that we got. And at that point, they then led us to 
uh, kind of like a changing room um, where they had lockers, like gym lockers kind of a thing. And your state of dress can be whatever you're comfortable with. Um, you can either go completely naked. Uh, they give you a towel to wrap up in, um, and that's what we did. Uh, you can wear a bathing suit if you if that was make you more comfortable, or you can wear your underwear. Women, in their case, can wear a bra, whatever. Whatever you feel comfortable doing. <clears throat> um, from there, we went to a room, for lack of a better word, I'm going to say like a sauna. Um, it wasn't as hot as a sauna per se, but it was definitely warmer. And there was like the sound of trickling water and they had like quartz and stuff up on the walls and, and color changing LEDs. And, and it was definitely a calming, just a relaxing kind of environment. From there, uh, we spent probably about 15 or 20 minutes in there. So from there, we were taken into another room that was, <clears throat> I'm going to say it was at least a 50 by 50, maybe. Um, 50 feet by 50 feet room. It was all, pretty much all tile, um, with the exception of the center. The center of the room was a huge table. Um, it had to be at least 30 feet in diameter. I want to say... I want to say it was marble. It might have been granite, but I, if I remember correct, I think it was marble. Um, probably two and a half or three feet thick. I mean, this thing must have weighed just on... I, I can't imagine how many tons that thing weighed. Anyway, polished nice and smooth, and you, you're told to get up on this table, and it's really warm. Not, not hot, but extremely warm. I mean, it, it's comfortable. Um, so it's not burning you, but, um, I don't know. I can't, I mean, I can't really, it's hard for me to describe exactly, you know, cause when you think of warm, you think, okay, you know, it's warm, but it's like right in between that warm and hot. Um, I have no idea how that table was heated. Uh, it was just amazing to me. So anyway, you get up on this table, they give you a towel, they roll it up under your head. Um, kid had me another woman had my wife and um you know they're basically wearing like a swimsuit and flip-flops and they go over to this on this one wall was a sink and they fill up these buckets of warm water and they come over and they pour this warm water over you and it's oh, it feels so good and then they lather you up with soap scrub you down head to toe um roll you over do your back everything right except for your private areas. So anyway, and then they rinse you off. Okay. And then um, after that, we were brought out, they dry you. And then we went to a, um, we, we swapped the wet towels for dry ones and then went to this other room for massage. Uh, and the massage was probably, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, it was really hard to kind of keep track of time. It was very easy to lose track of time because you just get so relaxed. So, uh, and then after that, they brought us back to the pier and that was that. So, I mean, it was overall, it was a great experience. I would definitely do it again. I don't know if they have any of these in the States. I have not looked. Um, I imagine there would be somewhere, but again, I haven't looked, so I don't know, but uh, it's definitely worth the experience. If you get a chance to go, um, don't get creeped out by it. Just, it's, it's, it's an amazing, I mean, if you've ever gone for a massage, think of it like a massage on steroids. That's about what this is. So, all right. Um, so smash that like and subscribe button, even if you didn't like the video. And if you're, if you're not into violence, then just tickle that like button. I'd appreciate it. Share it with somebody, anybody, especially if you think they're interested. Um, next week's video, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, I do have something on the jury here yet, and we do have some more travel videos. So I'm going to kind of wait and see, I guess, how this one does, and we'll go from there. So, um, again, thank you for watching. Stay safe, and we will see you in the next video.